Should a Christian celebrate Christmas? This is a, a debate, a question that's been asked over time, and it will continue to be asked, continue to be debated. What would be my take on it? Should a Christian celebrate Christmas? My answer to that would be, yes, I believe we should celebrate Christmas. But I will also state, we should celebrate Christmas every day. We should celebrate the birth of Christ every day. We should celebrate the death of Christ every day. It should not be a one-day thing. Many so-called believers celebrate it for that one day. Celebrate his death for one day. And then the rest of the year, he's forgotten. So should we celebrate Christmas? Again, my answer is yes. But let's let's expand on that. Like I just said, we should be celebrating that 24-7. And we do not know the day that Jesus Christ was born, December 25th. We do not know the date. If the date was important, it would be in the Bible. But there is no importance of his of the date. Because God would have told us. Now there is scripture about his birth. Obviously. And we'll go over some today. One of the most strongest ones. As I read the Bible. And have studied the Bible. And continue to. Is Isaiah 9.6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. To me, that scripture is absolutely powerful because it states that Jesus Christ is the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. For unto us a child is born, unto us a child is given. That child was given for us as a sacrifice. So if if somebody doesn't believe that Jesus Christ is God, Isaiah is calling him the mighty God, the everlasting Father. And for someone who wants to debate, well, who was this child that was born? It could be anybody. No. I'm sorry to tell you, that's that son, that child is Jesus Christ. Let's go to Matthew 2.11. And when they will come unto the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and mirth. They came to worship him, the three the three kings, whatever you want to call them, whatever they were, whatever they were, they came to worship him. They worshipped the king, the only one and true king, Jesus Christ. Again, mighty Father, everlasting Father, mighty God. And so to Matthew 8, Matthew 1, excuse me, 1825. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the wise. When his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, Jesus Christ, she was found with child. Who is that child of the Holy Ghost? One, the mighty God. That was actually Matthew 1.18. We didn't, we didn't uh, expand on that verse because finding that the Holy Ghost was in Mary, was the child she was bearing. The Holy Ghost is God, the almighty God. Let's continue. Let's go to Matthew 2.2, 2, saying, Where is he that he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen the star in the east, and have come to worship him. King. Where is that is born king of Jews? He is king of all. And we've come to worship him. Again, these scriptures are not saying to celebrate Christmas. These scripts are just the birth of Jesus Christ. But again, I believe we should celebrate it. 
we should celebrate it for the right reason. Not for gifts, not for Santa Claus. Now people will say, well, that's for the children, that's for this. No, that, that's, not, that's not truth. We should teach our children Jesus Christ, even at an early age. We teach Santa Claus. Well, I shouldn't say we, not me. But is, Santa Claus is taught. Santa Claus is mainstream. Santa Claus is on TV. Why isn't Jesus on TV? That's right, because they hate him. Because their Christmas, for the most part, is about Santa Claus and gifts. Again, celebrate it every day. Worship him every day. Thank him every day for his birth. Thank him every day for his death. This is not about anything else. Celebrate the true meaning of what he did. So I, as a believer, I do celebrate it. But I celebrate it every day. I want to thank you all for listening, watching. And yes, I will say to you, Merry Christmas. But remember, every day, may God bless you. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.